Hello, I'm Phil. I'd normally be putting the latest AMG through its paces on the handling circuit. But today, I'm going to show you how a little motor mindfulness can be a good thing for everyone. So sometimes that perfect parking spot fails to materialise no matter how many times you circle the block. So if you're left with no choice but using that less than perfect space, I want to show you why it's always safer to do it in reverse. That way you prevent any damage to the vehicle, which if you're giving it back at the end of a contract, could save you a lot of money. Your modern car might be fitted with sensors and cameras to help you park, but for today we're going to keep it really simple and just use the mirrors. The left, the right and the all-important rear view mirror, and that's going to let you see all the four corners of the car and make sure you don't come into contact with anything that may cause damage. So whilst it's something we've always been taught, by reversing really slowly and getting the steering lock on at exactly the right time, it's easy to park in a space a little more than four feet longer than the car. So if I stop mid-manoeuvre, with my mirrors, I can see both the left and right-hand sides of my vehicle, as well as the all-important vehicle behind me. So, by turning the wheel the other way, it brings the front end in, and there you are. We've parked safely in a tight space, just by using the mirrors to give me a good view of all sides of the car. No bumps, no scratch bumpers, and no curved alloys. So now we've learned to parallel park, Please look out for more tips coming from the team at Mercedes-Benz. Mercedes-Benz Finance, here to help.